salute, my lovelies. You've come to WCT, Wishy Chick Tea. Bring me your drama, your kink, your tea, and your twisted entanglements. Y'all know your witchologist, Ave, is going to get you right with my personal intuition and that of my tarot cards. The emails y'all sent be lit, and I always keep it real with you guys. What the cards reveal may not be what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. Some of these emails are crazy as hell, so if you're easily offended, this channel ain't for you. Kink. Drama. T. You ask, I answer. If you have a topic to discuss or need a reading, email me at witchychicktea tea at gmail.com. Now, baby, let's dig into these emails. And with my familiar big boy at my side, let's see what's brewing in my pot. Up first, we have Emmett from New Mexico. Ave, I work nights. I am telling you something funny is going on. When I get home, I want some loving. A man who works to provide for the home, he's entitled to that. My woman acting strange. She claimed she's been taking trips aboard an alien ship. I don't care about no ship. I want some man time. Lately, she's been getting all dolled up just before I leave for work. I asked her about it. She claimed they coming for her. Now, I'm starting to think something is wrong with her mental. So, I called out one night. Now, I ain't seen no shit. But something strange happened. She was down in the great room. I was up in the bedroom. I don't... I go downstairs for a bear, and she's gone. The TV is on, and the front door is locked. Her purse was there, but she was gone. I went back upstairs, went to the bathroom, drank a beer, then went back down, and she's on the couch like nothing's happened. I'm like, where you been? She point upward. This went on for a while. Finally, I told her I wouldn't stand for any more of this foolishness. And guess what? She packed her bags. Says her alien lover is better. Says she's going to Sepro. I'm not sure what to make of all of this. Can you consult the cards? My buddies at the job say she done stepped out on me and is making shit up. There's been some strange things happening around the house that I can't explain. Did an alien really steal my wife? You guys know, like I said, I try to keep it rough, raw, and real with y'all. That's why I don't edit out mistakes. I'm reading these emails as they send them to me. Emmett, let me tell you something, okay? I want you to hold on to your hat, okay? Because at, at this point, you may not be able to handle the truth. I've consulted the cards and my spirit guides. And I'm going to tell you, she has been visiting and she has been visited. As far as an alien stealing her, that has not happened. I'm picking up that she left of her own accord. If she's with an alien at this point, I cannot say. I don't really pick up her essence here, so I'm not sure. When I consult the cards and my spirit guides, I'm getting travel. I get stars. I get sky. So no, I don't believe she's actually here. And when I say here, I'm talking about here on earth at this particular moment. But to set the record straight, she has been visited. That, that was made very clear to me. 
This is not her being out of her head. This is not something she's made up. It's real and it happened. Sepro is a real planet. With that knowledge and the fact that she even mentioned Sepro leads me to believe she knows something of what she's talking about. I also pick up that she wasn't happy and hasn't been happy for a long time. But on that, that's a personal matter. I do get that she is now happy. At this point, I suggest that you move on and do what you need to do for you. Because I, I don't pick up that she's coming back. Unfortunately, you guys have come to the end of your road. It's time for you to see what's next for Emmett. Just a word of advice. You need to work on being man sexy instead of this chauvinist, I want what I want type of attitude. It's not romantic and it can be off-putting. Let's see what the cards have to reveal. The first card says, I need space. And exactly what I'm saying. She's gone. And she, she's not coming back. Okay? That's, that's first and foremost. Once you can get over that, you get that in your head, and you, you realize that and can accept that, now you need to start moving on because she's not coming back. And that's, that's something that's very real. And that's something you need to know and accept. Whether she's off with the alien or not, you didn't want to believe it. So that's really neither here nor there. He didn't steal her. I can tell you that. She went on her own. The second card says, handle with care. And this is what I'm saying. When I was talking about the chauvinist part, like the way you, when I first read this email, the way it came across to me, the I want some me time, I work, I, you know, uh, it, it just seems like very high handed. I got from you, I got very, very Ike Turnerish, if you, if you will. Uh, and you can't be like that. Like, even if she does not have a job, but keeps the home together, you know, she's a home, uh, home wife or housewife or whatever, you can't come in with that attitude like, look, I bring home the bacon, I want sex now, da 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 da, -da. Like, those things are very uh, off-putting and can turn somebody right the fuck off. And obviously, something has happened in this relationship that she felt that instead of being afraid, because that's, that's more so what most um, humans, most people would encounter, when you encounter one of these beings, some, somebody from another place, or even a being that's here that's not from here. Uh, when you encounter them, your first thing is you're, you're scared, you, you know? But to be so willing and, um, and move to the point that you're ready to start a, a romantic relationship and things of that nature, you have to then look at what's happening in that person's life. And, and, and I pick up that she just wasn't happy. And some of that, um, that not being happy did come from your relationship and the way she was being treated. So you need to check you before you start another relationship because you can't be like that. Nobody's saying be nobody doormat, but nah, that showing this shit, that's over. The third card says, stay true and be in your power. And see, that's what I'm saying. There's no need of crying about who stole who, what planet somebody on, or, or, or who doing what. At this point, that's irrelevant. The point of it is that she's gone and she ain't coming back. Now, you need to do what you got to do for you. You understand? You got to move on and do what you got to do. But you also need to work on the areas. We all got stuff to work on. So don't think I'm coming down on you. We all got shit within us that we need to work on. And that's what you need to do so that the next relationship don't wind up one and the same. Okay? Up next is Bria from Maryland. I'm seeing this older guy. He treats me right and the sex is banging. Thing is, he's married. But it's all good. I'm comfortable with our arrangement. We smash, he pays bills, and buys me what I want. 
It's not my fault his chick at home can't hold him. He says she's older and boring. Everything was going good until we bumped at Walmart. I don't know how she knew about me, but she followed me down two aisles before confronting me. She gave me some tight ass bullshit. Okay, got them again. Like I said, <laughs> try to read these emails the same way they sent them. I don't fix them up or nothing. Okay, so uh, let's get back into that. I don't know how she knew about me, but she followed me down two aisles before confronting me. She gave me some tight ass bullshit about her being his wife with the house, car, and money. I was going to run her ass over with my car. I would have kept it cute. But she tried to get loud. I know she got nothing but scalp under that wig. He told me he's tired of her bald ass head. And she shaped funny. That irregular bitch better stay out of my face. Again, I was going to keep it cute. Then she stepped to me. Yeah, I may be wrong for sleeping with the married man. But it's not like I went after him. He approached me. She want to be mad at someone? Why not be mad at him? I'm not in a relationship with her. I made no promises to her. She got one more time to step to me and is going to the hands. <sighs> you know, I get these uh, these emails here a lot, more often than not. And it, it all kind of rings in the same vein. Like, the women, the men... They know that they're wrong for being with somebody that's already with somebody. Because first off, if that person is willing, I don't give a damn what story they told you. If they're willing to step outside of their relationship with you, first you have to look at it like, let's keep it real. If they're so comfortable to do this, this ain't their first time stepping. And you're obviously not the only one that they're doing that way. So, you got to take it from there. Okay, Bria girl, I ain't even gonna go there with you, and, and and I'm not because, like I said, you 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 already said yourself, you know, you wrong for sleeping with the married man, so there there's that. We're not even going to go there. But as far as you guys hooking up at Walmart, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. I would be in that aisle all in it, nosy as a motherfucker. I, I, girl, please. I've been holding the hot sauce in my hand, just standing there looking mouth open, waiting to see which wig is flying where. You going to put on the show? Y'all going to air y'all dirty uh, uh, laundry out in public? Shit, motherfuckers going to look? Huh. That's just crazy as hell. But let's get into this. You're talking about running the chick over with the car, right? You're talking about her bald ass head under the wig. Girl, stop it. Okay, stop it. First off, I don't condone violence. I don't condone violence. I've said it once and I'll say it again. But now with me saying that, if someone is in your face and they put their hands on you, I'm not saying for you to stand there and be a dummy. You may have to get them off of you to get them out of your face. But in this, wrong is being done on both ends. You're absolutely right that instead of her stepping to you, she needs to check a man because he's the one that stepped out of the relationship. I've consulted the cards, and I'm going to tell you, you're not the only one. She really needs to step to her man and find out what the hell is happening. That's if he'll be truthful about it. And as far as her finding out about you, I picked up that someone actually told her so someone she knows saw you guys out and about and gave her your description. And you and him has gone to that Walmart. I picked that up as well. And that's how they knew that that particular Walmart was somewhere that you, that you frequent. Okay? Now, sis, hear my words. With what I'm saying, I, honestly, I understand that he gives you money and whatever, but at the end of the day... Come on, you, you got to think about yourself. You gotta, is this really worth it? And you have to think about your health and happiness. 
You understand? I say this because it's revealed that you're not the only one. You're not the only one that he's laying with, and this is not his first time stepping out on her. So in that, you need to also sit down and have some self-talk with yourself. People have to know their worth. Ask yourself, is it worth you catching something you can't get rid of? Or someone going A1 crazy on you? What I get from my spirit, guys, is that this whole thing is it's just a hot damn mess. And it's no good. I can only tell you what I'm seeing and receiving. What I'm picking up from the cards and my guides. You do what you want with the information. But I'm telling you. This is just a hot bowl of mess. It's not going to get any better. This man is not husband material, boyfriend material. He's really a one and done. If you have to do that. And that's where it should have stayed. Okay? Let's see what the cards have to reveal. The first card says guarded. They always have you ready to jump a bitch. And this is exactly what I'm saying. These people, understand this, these people that are in these relationships and they step out of the relationship to mess with you, okay? They still in that relationship with that other person. They know that person's temperament. They know how that person is. But they're messing with you. Now, let's say they got one of them A1 crazy bitches. They're messing with you. This bitch find out. And now she ready to go cut a, cut cut you, uh, get a gun and shoot you, have somebody else do some crazy ass shit to you, or whatever the case may be. You know you messing with crazy. You know you laying with crazy. Don't pull me into your bullshit. But see, they don't care because they they they're not they're not that kind of person. All they want is what they can get out of the deal. They're not caring a, a damn thing about your health, your mental, or none of that. And that's why that thing on the side, if you got to do it, it should be a one and done because it's just not worth it. At the end of the day, it's just not worth it. They really don't give a damn about you. And nine times out of ten, like I said, this morning, you. The next card says, take time, take time. And see, that's what I'm saying. You have to. You have to understand your own worth. Put things in perspective. You know? I mean, you're talking about going to the hands, but you might be talking about going to the hands. Old girl may be doing some old crazy shit. Like nowadays, people crazy and motherfucker. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you don't know what the hell a person got planned. And I'm not saying live in fear, because no. But at the same token, don't sleep on nobody. You don't know what level a crazy a person is dealing with. And, I mean, it's just not worth it. A thrill today and a grave tomorrow. <laughs> For what? And this nigga done stepped on. You dead, that person in jail, and this nigga with the next bitch. Come on. Uh -uh. Now, got to wisen up. The next card says, in the coming days, guard yourself. And see, this is why I keep talking this crazy. I mean, I guess you guys are saying, oh, why do you keep talking about this crazy bitch? A1 crazy. Is somebody doing something? Because that's what I'm getting. And that's what I have been getting. You talking about this crazy bald headed thing or whatever the case may be. You're talking about going to the hands. But let me tell you something, okay? This one of them, this one of them hood rat bitches, okay? This one of them people that they, they should be on that true crime or something. Like that's where their mental is at. So I'm telling you, <laughs> And in, uh, in the coming days, guard yourself. You, that's what you need to do. But at the same token, you need to leave him alone because he doesn't care. And I'm telling you, you're not the only one. And crazy got you in her eyesight. So <laughs> do what you will with the information I'm giving you. Up next is Camille from New Jersey. Ave. I've lived in this building for two years. I think my neighbor has been here longer. He's a few years older than me. And he gives me the creeps. I'm not talking about nerd creeps. This is something more like predator or, or low vibes. Whenever I open my door, 
his door opens. When I go down to the mail, he's there. He has asked me out a few times, but I always conveniently have something to do. I've never been rude. I just feel weird around him. On one hand, he seems nice, talks respectively. It's just there's something not right. Like his eyes look a little crazy. I know that when I'm in the same space as him, I get a funny sensation down my back. My friend says I should give him a chance, that he has a job and seems to be a good man. I'm like, well, girl, why don't you date him? I vain. Am I being shallow as my friends seem to accuse me of being? Or is there a real case where he is concerned? These feelings that I get in his presence, is this something to it? Or am I completely out of my head? Let me tell you something. And I've said it again. I'll say it, uh, I've said it once. I'll say it again. We all have a sixth sense inside of us. We all have a bit of intuition. Some people are more in touch with theirs than others, but we all have it. That voice that's in your head that when you're about to do some stupid shit or some crazy shit, it say, uh-uh, don't do it. Now, whether we listen to that or not, but it's there. And it's, that is what is working with you. Okay, I've consulted my gods. I went to the cards when I read this because I was very concerned. I got very weird feelings. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, how can I say this without scanning the absolute hell out of you? Okay, again, I understand exactly what you're talking about. And I, I got it right off the email. So for me, this tells me Something real strong is, is there. To pick up a cessation of someone else's aura, spirit, and demeanor right from an email, those are some strong fucking vibes, okay? And yes, if I were you, I would totally disconnect from him. Of course, be as professional as possible and decline his every answer. I don't want you to go, hood huh, girl. Look, nigga, get out my face. Uh-uh. Okay? Because the delivery, when you're dealing with people that are crazy, when you're dealing with, with predatorial people, the delivery is what could be the thing that caused them to snap and actually act. See, he hasn't done anything. Anything more than just the, the creepiness of, of staring, of looking, of popping up where you're at. He hasn't advanced fat beyond that. You understand what I'm saying? But it's just that one thing, that one thing that can, boom, snap that rope. And now you're dealing with the real predator. So this is what I'm saying. You want to be as cordial as possible. You want to disconnect as quickly as possible. And you don't want to do anything to set them off. Okay? So you don't want to give attitude that sets them off. I do get very predatory vibes. And, and me personally, from everything that I've picked up, I would move. I, I understand you may like your apartment, the area, all of that. But I would fucking get up and move. I, I'm telling you, there today, gone tomorrow. I'm so serious. I would move. Even break the lease if I have to. Because what I'm picking up is not good. Not good at all. How this man has flown under the radar of the police, I have no idea. But yes, I'm getting very bad, bad, bad vibes. And your own body is trying to tell you this. That's why every time you're in his presence, you get those dark feelings. You get that creepiness, that coldness going up your back. That's your body telling you that this is no good. This is something dangerous around you. And that, yes, you need to disconnect. My advice, I'm so serious, move as quickly as possible. I wouldn't tell nobody in that building, I'm going, just go. I'm so serious. If you want to talk about it more personally with me, go ahead and email me. Mark it urgent and help. I will do a private reading. And I will go more in depth with what I found. But if I were you, I would disconnect. 
I would disconnect because he's he has been watching. He knows a lot of things, how you move, and, and he knows who, who your friends are. So that's what I'm saying. If I were you, I would just, how can I say this? People that's like him, okay? People that have these predatory uh, vibes, they have a formula, if you will. There are things that they do before they actually act. They watch they plot, they plan, they learn things. And this is what all of that has been about. You understand? So at this point, what I would do, like if you have some family members in another state somewhere, uh, I would just up and move. Now, as far as putting your stuff in storage, you could do that. Is, there, is it possible? That you can even leave. Don't come back. Leave out like you're going to work. Don't come back. But maybe call a friend and have them put your things in storage, in a storage unit. This will bypass. There, there is a way past this, I promise you. But you need to be out of the scene for a while, okay? He's not after nobody else. These people, when they... When they latch themselves to a person, they latch to that person until their next victim come along, or unless they're stopped before that. But if that person suddenly becomes unavailable to them, then they move on. Normally, they take some time to, I guess, maybe get over the fact that they didn't get or wasn't able to do what they did, or if they were able to do whatever their plans were, they bask in, in whatever sick sense of uh, happiness they find out of that. But in this, I really honestly believe you need to get out. Remove yourself from that situation as soon as possible. And you don't need a paper trail. That's why I'm telling you, don't go and get another apartment. And it, especially don't get another apartment in that, in that state or that town. Just go ahead and, and stay with the family member. Or even if you have to... Go somewhere and stay in a hotel for a while. I don't know how, how your pocket is uh, to be able to say that. But I wouldn't leave a paper trail. And getting another uh, getting another um, apartment that would have a lease, your name would be on it, there's a paper trail to follow. So I wouldn't do that. I would go stay with some family members, and I do sense that you have some. So I would go stay with some family members in another state somewhere for a couple of months, let this thing uh, uh, blow over. Send your key to a friend. Don't tell them where you're going. Send your key to a friend maybe a week after you've gone where you're at. And no for, no unforwarding address either. No forwarding address. Send them the key in the mail. Tell them if you got to send them the money or whatever. Uh, cash app them the money. Let them know to go and put your stuff in storage. You could get the storage unit uh, yourself online. And go ahead and do your things like that if you can't just disconnect from your personal items and just walk out. That's what I would do. Give it, leave them things in that storage unit for about six months to a year before you come to collect them. Uh, and, and I'm telling you, that that would be your best bet. Let this thing blow over. Let, let, let him erase yourself from his mind. Okay? Again, email me, private, urgent, help, and we'll do a reading. Up next is John from South Carolina. My wife is African American, and I'm Caucasian. We've been married seven years till date. We've had our share of ill looks, snickers behind our back, and rude staring. Those kinds of things. What I don't condone is family treachery. I am the breadwinner in my family. Without me, they would all be in a trailer park somewhere. Now, I didn't ask anyone's permission to date or marry my wife. I am aware that my family tolerates her for my sake. But recently, I've heard some conversations that concern me. We're a little long in the tooth. And recently, I've had a few health scares. I've heard a few family members talking about what comes after. 
I've heard them say that she won't get shit. I do have a will in place and she'll be taken care of. But their words gave me pause. It sounds as if they're plotting against her. Again, I do have that will in place. What I need to know is will it be enough? Did I hear correctly? Are they plotting against her and undermining me? Should there be something else I need to be doing to protect her? I honestly thought in this day and age that people would be more tolerant. I heard my sister talking about your show. It is what made me watch and decide to write in. Do my concerns have merit where my wife is concerned? John, unfortunately, there's been jealousy and backstabbing going on in your family before you and your wife even met. And that's what I picked up. You guys are like the real life TV show Dallas. I picked up right away once I consulted the cards. As far as what you can do, I, I do understand you have that will in place. And that's a good thing that you set into place. Your family members, they don't like your wife. We, we, we're just going to we're just gonna be plain. We, we, we're going to speak the common tongue here, okay? They don't like her. They do not agree with the mixing of black and white. And they are plotting. I don't know the extent of that plot, but just know that they are plotting to make sure that she doesn't get any monetary possessions or property possessions, okay? Should something happen to you. If I were you... I would not only have that will, but I would set a recording will and testament. Actually record yourself while you're of good mind and spirit. Have a lawyer present when you're doing this. Clearly state who gets what. Because when you do a video and you're of sound mind and body, that can't be overturned. Those are your last wishes and that's what you put out there. Papers can be forged. So I would go ahead and get on that video immediately. Also, I don't know, maybe your wife in passing, perhaps she would like to return back to her family or maybe just move away and start anew. You guys need to sit down and have that kind of talk. Perhaps something to the effect of, if something happens to me, where would you like to go? What would you like to do? Let it be known that you're okay with the knowledge that she may not want to stay there. What's her next chapter? Because sitting there in that part of misery, that's just not going to work. Once you guys had the time to set everything into motion, don't focus on the going. Focus on the now. Perhaps this is the time for you guys to go cruising, travel. They have some very long cruises, especially if you do those back-to-backs. Go travel. Get out from under the tyranny and depression that's going on with the family. I would enjoy what time I have left, okay? Enjoy that. It's a shame when you have vultures in your family circling, waiting for you to drop so that they can see what they get. You don't need any help along that line. You understand? You don't need any help. We all going to go at some point. We don't need no help going. When your time comes, you don't need any help getting it to come sooner than the gods have designed. Get that recording done ASAP and then go enjoy your tomorrows. That is my, my sincere suggestion to you. Because sitting in that house, this that, is not making it. It's not making it. These people are miserable. They're plotting. And, and there's nothing you could do about that. You can't change the evil that's inside somebody. You can't. But you don't have to sit there and be in its presence either. Okay? Let's take it to the cards. The first card says... Longing. And that's... You know, this is the whole thing with this. You have to... You have to let it go. You gotta let it go. Put those provisions in place... And get the hell out. Go do some traveling. Go, go, go and enjoy y'all tomorrows. Do not sit up there in that house and let them people uh, drag you to an early grave. Because that's what's going to happen. It's the old saying, misery loves company. No. Mm -mm. No. You enjoy what you can while you can. Okay? 
Just get your provisions in order. The next card says, watch your assets. Money, property, family. Exactly what we're talking about. Watch your assets. Do that video. Hear me out. Do that video. Get that done. Then go on about your business. Let them stew in that misery by themselves. Okay? That's what you have to do. You have to do it. Because people are, are, are real fucked up. And as long as they know that they can do something, they will do it. And you, 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 can't, you can't allow people to do that, okay? Can't allow people to, to walk the dog over you, okay? The last card says, chaos. Man, that's exactly what I'm telling you. I just, <laughs> oh, people, let me tell you something. <laughs> These cards do not lie, okay? The cards do not lie. Chaos. And that is what's happening in that house. That's what's happening there. Okay? That is what's happening in that family. And you've got to do what it is that you've got to do. Okay? Daily T. Loves, loves, loves. If you're seeing a man who has someone else, then he's not your man. And you need to realize that he's stepping out on whomever he's supposed to be with. Nine times out of ten, you're not the only chick he's stepping with. This is not husband material. This is not boyfriend material. This is one and done because anything more, now you're putting your health, happiness, and mental state in jeopardy. And it just ain't worth it. When you meet someone and they give you creepy rhymes, the hairs on your neck stand up. You get a chill running down your back. You listen to that because that's telling you some good shit. There's something bad, bad, bad with that person. What we know at this point in this world is that we are not alone. Not everyone believes in aliens or that there are other beings out there. But whether you believe it or not, they are out there and they do come here. And have been doing so for a very long time. There are people that truly believe and truly interact with them. Now, not every nutcase that you hear that says, oh, I've been abducted, has been abducted. However, in some cases, it is real. If your person leaves you for another being out of this world, perhaps you need to check yourself. Interracial relationships have been happening for a very long time. When you get greedy as family members, you need to watch yourself. Protect yourself from all angles because greed breeds monsters. Say it with me. Greed breeds monsters. Greed can make someone do things that they never thought they would be able to do. I want you guys to be safe out there, but safety isn't guaranteed to any of us. All you can do is try to be cautious and move with respect and common sense in your own life. If something doesn't feel right, normally it's not right. And at that point, you have some hard decisions to make. With that said, if you have a bizarre situation or simply some drama and need to give voice to it, email me. And now, I have some private sessions. I'm off to do an energy cleanse. See you guys later. Guys, we are growing. We've changed the direction of the show to give you what you want, need, and desire. If you have a situation you don't want discussed on the show, email me, Mark Private, and help. I cover all things from relationships to haunts. If you need help, you found it. Keep those emails coming and hit that subscribe button 
and join the WCT fam.